Today is the day we go to the Netherlands for Aerion. Um, we're driving there, so we're going on the channel tunnel thing, driving through Belgium into the Netherlands. It's 20 past eight in the morning. I'm kind of tired, but I'll probably just nap in the car. <laughs> Huge shout out to Darren for being our executive producer. If you would like to join him, link down below. Mum's making rolls for the car. I am. We've got breakfast bats. We've got cheese rolls. And I'm just about to make sausage bats. <laughs> True British car journeys. <laughs> so what we're doing here, we're going to Holland. <laughs> And Claire. And we have a mad driver. You sound like Paddington Bear when you do an impression of me and Zach. <laughs> Gonna give me a hard stare. It's called a hard stare. Mm. Biscoff. Hey. We have made it to the hotel. It's a really nice hotel. It's where we stayed last time. We've got a beautiful view outside the window. <laughs> We've made it to the <laughs> we've made it to the hotel. It's the same one as we did last time. It's really beautiful. It's like on the square. I'm looking out and I'm seeing lots of Arion fans and a beautiful cathedral. So we're gonna drop our bags off and go have a beer. Yay! Mm. Frost. 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 Welcome back to Tilbury. Yeah, it's good to be back. Yeah. Oh, that's big there. It's raining. It's over there. Manchester. Do you feel like do you feel like you're in Manchester, Dad? I do. I don't know how long it is. Bunch of bitter. <laughs> Big belly. <laughs> I'm gonna get the parmesan truffle pasta. What are you thinking of getting, Mum? If I could actually read the menu, it'd be good. Because my eyesight is so rubbish. <laughs> in a hole in the ground, there lived a hobbit. Stupid, fat hobbit. Frost, dink. Say something witty and funny. Witty and funny. <laughs> Say something funny, Dad. Oh, it's not that time of night for funny things. <laughs> Are you too hungry? We're having a lovely time. I'm having a lovely <laughs> time. Look at this glass. It's like a wine glass meets a beer glass. That is so cool. <laughs> this is one of the oldest beers in the Netherlands. What do you think? I don't quite like it. It's um. <laughs> <laughs> it's got a minty taste. My pasta was just cooked in a wheel of cheese and it's amazing. I have never had a folding half plate before. <laughs> is there part of you that wants to just break it though? Because I kind of do. <laughs> this is fantastic. It's a pork belly, but it is absolutely gorgeous. Oh. Like lovely fries with a nice mayo thingy. Speaking of, could I pinch a chip? Oh, hey, hey. Thank you. My dessert just came out and it was like the tiniest thing I've ever seen in my life. But it was very yummy, so it was worth it. Look at this vessel that bought my pudding on it. What else do they use these for? What else? We are back at the hotel now. Um, what the fuck is this, Claire? What? What the fuck is this? I'm sorry. I don't know what happened. It was a moment of madness. <laughs> I just whipped it out and I was like, I'm going to record what I'm saying. I just forgot. The you, rule. you filming in vertical, how could you? Sorry. Anyway, back to the vlogs. <laughs> just had a little wonder, a couple of beers, and now I'm just gonna catch some shut eye because traveling is tiring. And I think I might have anemia. Yay. I just discovered that this coffee machine, oh, it's got the Nespresso pods. That's way better than just a shitty kettle. I can't wait for breakfast and coffee because I need coffee now, even though I literally had one about 15 minutes ago. Oh well. <laughs> got up it's sunday morning looking outside and it's pretty rainy but i think it's meant to stop at some point oh, i need some coffee though mm, morning coffee good, good morning time. good morning i'm having a morning brown and a little waffle and a little waffle i've got a chocolate waffle oh shop till you pop <laughs> oh. 
This is the kind of place I could live. So we went to grab some breakfast and it was really yummy. Scrambled eggs, spinach, tomatoes, mushrooms, all the good stuff. And then we went to the pop-up shop, which was really cool. Got a brand new t-shirt. <laughs> we collected the merch this morning that we pre-ordered, but the one item they ran out of was my long sleeve shirt. But that's gonna be sent to the UK, to us anyway. So yeah, we're gonna have a wander around the canal now, I think. See the sights of Tilburg once again. <laughs> Confused. It looks like a penguin. It does look like a penguin. Isn't it? <laughs> Maybe it is a hybrid. I think I'm going to call him Penguin. Hello. So this was in the entrance before you go in the pop-up shop. They were mainly just pieces of photography from previous Aryan events here in Tilburg, and it was really cool to see some of them because I was there last time in 2019. So recognise some of that stage show. I just found these words very funny. Slag room and mud. I have no idea if that's how you say them, but there you go. I am back in the hotel room again. We had a little wander around the canal. Recently found out that the show they're doing tonight, they are filming for a DVD, like live show, and there's not really filming permitted. So <laughs> this vlog is gonna be a lots of build up and no show. The crowd from the matinee show this afternoon have just come out and everyone looks excited and happy. So I'm assuming that's Good news. My family is just having a beer on the square at the moment. I just came back to change my trousers because sitting down in fishnets for a while, it's not the one. Also, I just want to have a little rant about the coffee machine in this bedroom. In theory, it's basically an espresso machine, which I'm used to. It has the pods that we're used to. But this morning, in my most vulnerable hour <laughs> before I'd had a coffee, I just couldn't figure it out. I was putting in the pod, I was crushing it, and it just wasn't piercing, it was just smushing and I was getting really cross. So I had like three decaf coffees in the hope that it would like placebo me into the land of the living. Um, it did not. I'm knackered. I just am. <sighs> Tough times. <laughs> First world problems. Oh, I'm so tired for this amazing gig that I'm seeing. Mm. A funny thing that happened though, last night when I got in, I was like, I'm gonna take my makeup off. You know, I'm, I always take my makeup off. Like I can't. I'll get gross if not. I tend to use, in fact I always use, this body shop stuff where you wipe it all over your face and you get a wet cloth. Now I forgot the cloth, so I was like, what the fuck do I do? So I had to sacrifice a sock. So I was just spent 10 minutes last night wiping my face with a sock. Wasn't my uh, highest point, but there we go. <laughs> it's quite cool though, because lots of the band and all the members of Arion that are playing this time are staying in the hotel that we're at. So <laughs> we'll go down for like, coffee in the morning or whatever or just to meet and they'll just be like <laughs> Britney Slays from Unleash the Archers walking around with a kid and like Damien Wilson it's bizarre but it's nice everyone's really friendly and there's a really good atmosphere here also an Aryan rubber duck I'm just so excited about it bath time's never gonna be boring not that it ever is because I love baths I've got an Aryan patch I'm trying my best to vlog but when Zach's not here he just has a second nature for it and I'm just like, oh, we're going in this pub. I should film some B-roll. And then I look around and there's everyone, everyone looking and I'm scared. My eyelashes are wonky. Hopefully this video won't turn out too shit considering I can't film any of the gig. <sighs> That's not me doing a poop by the way. That was me putting on my shoes. <laughs> <sighs> Outfit check. Electric castle top from 2019 when I was last here for Arion. <laughs> Rip jeans, vans. Comfort is key because it's going to be it's going to be a longish show, two and a half hours. So I want to be comfortable. It's my kind of room. Mini time. Oh, I'll tell you what it's like. It's very dark. It's quite high percentage, isn't it? Oh, it's all neat. Oh, I say. Black IPA. That's like Coke. That on a little like taste. Coke. That looks like a Guinness. Yeah. On a little taste. I have a little taste. What percentage it is? Seven point two. What's it like, Claire? Very flavorsome. Seven point two. Do you like molasses? Yes. I mean, it would be pointless having a black metal. Blonde. That's cow metal, isn't it? Blonde metal. It's just like Marmite, but like bitter. Oh, check a picture of Elaine. <laughs> Ah, a nice blonde beer, and then there's that. Yummy. Oh, 
vegan burgers. Yum, yum, yum. My original plan was to do a time lapse of the whole entire queue, but I started filming and then I realised how long the queue was, so I abandoned that pretty quickly. As you know, we weren't meant to film, but at some point everyone whipped their cameras out and my dad, bless him, he got a bit hot, so about halfway through the show he snuck out and he actually ended up getting a really good spot near the front, so you can thank my dad for this amazing clip that he cheekily filmed. Thanks, Dad. gig was amazing. The whole set was great. I'm not gonna lie though, it was fucking hot in there. Hot one today, huh? Yeah! I don't know if I was dehydrated or just wasn't prepared, but I felt like, I felt like I was gonna pass out like quite a few times during their set. I mean, it was a two and a half hour set, so it wasn't like particularly short. Sure. It was very, very crowded in there, which is a good thing. It was amazing at the end of the day. And then we went to the bar afterwards and sat around and then you get like the band walking out from the venue down the bar alley. If you've been to Tilburg, you know what I'm on about. And everyone cheers and stuff. That was really nice. Also saw someone uh, that we met at Hellfest 2014 that I haven't seen since then, which was crazy. It was a great night though. What what a band, like so much talent on one stage. It literally pisses me off. It's so good. <laughs> what a great weekend that was. Despite the humidity in the venue, I am super grateful to have gone to two of these now. Super chuffed that we can just drive over as well, which is pretty cool. I like why did this just randomly come on? 
bless you. Got some merch, met some cool people, ate some good food, drank lots of nice beer. Definitely planning to go in a couple of years' time if they do another one. So thank you so much for watching. It'd be great if you could check out our Patreon in the link down below. It helps the channel out a lot because uh, times be tough and stuff. So thank you and like and subscribe. <laughs>